welcome back this is Abkhash again and in this tutorial we are going to use an existing machine learning example and apply ML flow to it so using ML flow we can see the code execution and we can also uh, look into various uh, executions for the project compare the metrics in between them uh, export the models very quickly as well as we can uh, we can uh, set the tracking parameters so we, which will help us to see the uh, machine learning execution much better so here is a lot more information about ml flow which you could uh, explore by yourself and for this project we are going to use this existing application which is a part of Kera's examples here you could see that the example is collaborative filtering for movie recommendation this example is written by Siddharth Banerjee and I'm just going to use their uh, sample as it is. So here is the sample code and what we will do is that we will download that example locally in our machine. So here you see that I already have the folder created for me. So I will download this source code. Here you could see that's our source code. Now we'll try to run this source code and see everything works fine. So the source code we will walk through while this application is running so the application here is that all the uh, accessing python modules for our project downloading the source code and using ratings uh, .csv file as our uh, input uh, splitting uh, sorry collecting all the files specific information so here you could see users movie ratings uh, everything what we really have and when this code is running here you could see that project is started and the content is loaded here is we are splitting our uh, input to for training and validation database finally we are creating the model and then here we are training the model rendering the model matrix uh, tra training and validation loss here using the plotlib and finally we are running running a validation test here top 10 my recommendation for a random user so here you could see that uh, this our code ran and here is the model matrix uh, for training and validation so our ui is stuck right now so we will go ahead and create it ui execution was blocked because of that ui window so we will remember that thing because we should not use that in our ml flow example so we will hide that so here is your code execution everything went well now in same example what we will do is that we will create an environment file one is called ml project and another will be conda.ya so conda environment we will be using for our ml flow project environment and ml project is the file which will launch uh, this conda environment as well as uh, finally when the conda environment is ready then launch our uh, python command line to make it a start and then we will use ml flow ui to see the tracking various uh, model metrics and the code execution as it progressing so once we have created these two files now we will try to build the conda environment for that uh, i have already have an example here so our conda here you could see that conda yml is really look like that way so we i conda okay and here our project look like so here this project name we are using uh, anaconda and dependency we are using python 3.6 numpy pandas and mlflow with tensorflow 2.0 okay so that's our project so here you could see our our conda okay now we need to do the project so ml project so here is our ml project i already have a sample created so here we will use uh, ml project okay so here you could see that we are using conda environment as conda.yaml and we are uh, uh, launching command as python and our project file name which is the entry point very simple uh, configuration there is not a lot to really remember so we were going to see that thing so here is you could see the ml project and conda these two and then finally our project which is this so which we have to edit next so now with that thing we we could see that our environment is ready now we are going to edit this uh, collaborative filtering movie lens file for this reason we what we will do we can open 
all of this is our file all the information we as you could see is available here so what we will do in this project is that we will add the required module first so required modules we really need it here so project starts and here you could see we are going to add modules for that so first we need import ml flow dot tensor flow and once we have ml flow dot tensor flow so ml flow dot tensor flow dot au auto log so this is our requirement here so this will say okay tensor flow start and one more thing what we will do is that remember we have uh, seen the model matrix ui which was uh, launched when application was running so we will try to hide it so because we don't want to really see it otherwise we'll block the code execution so here is the matplotlib where it's used and if we look into the project it will at the very bottom actually i will go very very bottom and here you could see a little up because this is the place where the test is and here is the area where so we will do this this and this okay there you go so we have block we have commented the all the matplotlib really specific code so we will be showing that as we have saved it so now that's pretty much example code we have if we want to see that code we could actually see so here we have a stash uh, work stash and this is our code so now you could see in an editor ml flow auto log so we have done ml flow tensor flow ml flow tensor flow auto log okay and code is we haven't made any change you could do various changes however just to make it uh, a project simple we have just made those changes there is one thing you could do is that uh, is that change the parameters up in a way that you can pass them through the command line here if you would like to pass the command line here or while you are running the projects then you could really change the command line so you could keep them separate but for this uh, sample uh, example we are just trying to make these two changes and blocking the matplotlib and once that change is done now we will launch our application so here are the changes what we will do we will split a uh, word uh, horizontally over the screen so we have two screens and here we will say work dash so we are same place so very first thing what we will do is that we will launch the ml flow ui so ml flow ui will start here and we will see that how ml flow ui is running okay we can go look into local host 5000 and you could see that ml flow ui is running in this in this area we can see here you could see the ml runs it is folder is created when we started ml flow so that ml flow ui we have here okay so far there is a no uh, code execution because we haven't even started in this project next what we do we will run ml flow run and local so it will launch this ml project here ml flow run very first thing what it will do it will look into the conda environment because that's first we start then once conda environment is ready then it's really going to launch the code so here you could see the is creating the conda environment at this point we will see our project and you could see that okay our project entry is added it means project has started now i'm the user and source folder is stash which is running and as you see ml runs zero which is like this ml run folder zero so if you are interested to see more about it we can actually see that there will be a folder called zero here okay so when it's running okay it's still uh, this uh, code shows that uh, the conda related uh, environment is conda specific environment created when we click here we will not see any parameters it means the source code execution related with the machine learning project has not started yet so we will go back it's still everything is running here we will give few more second because it is possible that uh, files are downloaded because we are not really writing the std out for okay so we can use this and then that really tells the project status here and we will give okay so now you see okay project is started and here you could see 
the ID as given. Let's reload it now. Okay, and project is still started. Okay, main command. Okay, there you go. Number of users. So here you could see reload page and all the parameters are rendered here model summary so far whatever the progress we have is really available here you could see okay and we have five epoxy as if you could see here there so it's like a one off one is completed and a second has started and th within this code if you remember when they print this number of users number of movie if you go a little here you could see here number of users so this in input data total 9724 movies related with 610 users so while this thing is running oh sorry so just information related with uh, our input and here i think we are completing the training and after that there is a recommendation uh, related with a random, uh, uh, a random user so here you could see that's the, I think the very last is really running right com incompleted okay and that should be and here at the same time we can go back and look into so here you could see the, the current epoch is running and what is the last and validation last matrix value looks like the project is completed here you could see and then here is the random user 483 recommendation for that user and you can see here project is completed green signal it means it completed successfully without any error here are the parameters here are the metrics for the project here we could see validation loss matrix okay if you are trying to learn more about the artifacts related with projects they are all here you could see that information here is a model summary okay this is how you could see if we look into the project itself project is here if you see here zero that was the id project running so if you could see here when the project was running the id was uh, shown that, so you could see here cb end with b0 cb end with b0 here is the project here, here is a matrix okay here are the artifacts tens of logs you could see a lot you know information here matrix here is the parameters you could see here here are the tags and here you could see if you if you want to save the model we can write a script to here so the model could be saved and several things can be done within this project so this is just a start project uh, i just wanted to show you that how easy it is to take an uh, existing example and very quickly you can add uh, ml flow to it so hope you have understood it uh, if you think that you could uh, take this project and experiment it it's going to be avail available at my github so you can download it and you can really improve it you can re-engineer it and you can learn more about it so that's all i had to share with you i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for your time